What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create a simple building system. Now I will probably be splitting these videos into separate ones as it probably will be a very long one. So in this first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to get started. So it's going to be a very easy bit to follow. So let's begin. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is right click and create a new blueprint class. And what we are going to do is create an actor component as we will add it into our first person blueprint or whatever we'll need. So I can name this BPC underscore build system. Let's open this up. And the first thing that we are going to be doing is create the uh, building loop, the one that will line trace into the ground and will display our preview. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right click and create a new custom event, and this will be the um, preview loop. Okay, so on here, what we are going to be doing is a line trace. And let's create a line trace by channel. So we'll shoot an invisible arrow from one point into the next one. Now, from there, we need to start and get our camera position. So what we're going to do is add the begin play that I just deleted. <laughs> and then we're going to do is cast to the first person character blueprint or whatever character blueprint you're using. And then here you can say get owner and then from the component. So get a, a target is character component. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get the camera is the get first person camera and then right click promote this to a variable and this will be the camera so now it's in a variable and i can use it whatever i want uh, so now i can just get the camera over here and then say get weld and then in this case will be the transform so i can just right click and split so the location will start here and then the end point will be our rotation let's get it and let's get the forward vector so we know at which direction we are looking at so now what we can do is time this by a value in this case and right click changes into float so we can put the distance as we want the uh, line trace to end in this case puts on the last 700 we can play with that let's get a location and add it with this offset and now we can just plug it into the end point let's put the debug type to be for duration so we can visualize this later on but uh there we go that will be a line tree so now this will give us a output well two outputs so first of all let's make sure that we have hit something and then the second thing is that we're gonna get the out hit, make a break, and now we can have all the details of where we have hit and so on. So what we're going to do right now is that if we have hit something, we want to do a do once node. And in this case, what we want to do is also do a sequence. So the first one will be do once. So in here we're going to do is say add component by class okay in this case the target will be our player character so just right click and make this a variable so we like the player blueprint and we're gonna attach it into the player basically so it'll be the property of the player there we go and now the class will be well static mesh and it will be the static mesh component the normal one and then we can put a transform in this case let's right click split it and we can put in our information there now, what I'm going to do is actually just control Z, right click and promote this to a variable, and this will be the uh, build, I don't know, type build preview transform, okay? So we're going to pass this as a variable. Great, so in the sequence 2, we're going to set the build preview transform, and I'm going to right click and split. So in this case, the location will be that location, the rotation for now, going to look like this. And same with scale. Okay, we're gonna delete everything as default, except the location. So now that will be there. And now what we want to do is right click and save this into a variable. And this will be the preview uh, mesh. I know how to type today. <laughs> what is happening? There we go. And now I can just get the preview mesh, set world, transform, use this one. And now we can plug in our uh, transform over here. So nice in a variable, pretty cool and that will be it so now what we need to do is make our keys so we'll activate it and so on so let's go into our uh, first person folder input actions create a new one right click input action ea will be build and now we don't need even need to open it we just go into uh, the default one just add a new mapping this will be build assign a key let's say you be all build so now here we got to do is right click ea underscore build and i can toggle this build mode or not so in here we're going to do is call the preview loop in the event tick so it's right click event tick and call the preview loop 
and I'm going to do is make a branch because we are only going to be doing this if of course you know we are in uh, the build mode so let's we'll right click on here variable in build mode and now I can just put this here and now here I'm going to make a flip flop on starter so the first time that we'll press it it will turn on build mode and the second time we'll go ahead and turn it off okay so now we can do that um, so now you will see that if I go here and press B, nothing will exactly happen. This because we have, have to add it into the first person blueprint. Uh, so let's go here and add the component. VPC, build system, there you go. Compile, go here. Now press B, you can see we have all of these line traces and we can activate it or deactivate it. And of course, there's no uh, static mesh or whatsoever. And that's because we, of course, have to fill it in. So we can close the character, go back into our uh, component. As you can see, there's no uh, mesh right now set. In this case, I'm gonna set a mesh, okay? It's gonna be a bit temporal. For now, what I have is this uh, building systems that I got from my marketplace asset. And you can use it whatever you want, but gonna be using this floor, okay? So you can go ahead and just drag it here. Now, press B, you can see I have this floor, I can drag it around and I can basically preview it. And of course, uh, that will be it, okay? So now let's quickly just create this material that will be like transparent. Uh, so just right click, create material M underscore, and will be the building uh, preview. Open this up, hold the three uh, key, just uh, left click. And now I'm gonna put this to be green over here. And then let's also select the outline. And just go and change this to be translucent. So now I can hold one, left click, pass, and a pass value will be like 0.5 or even 0.7. You can play around with that. But basically we have some alpha and opacity. So now what we can do is basically, uh, from here I just get the preview mesh once again. And then set the material. And now I can just go and put in my preview mesh. There we go. And now you can see, you can see now we have that preview over there. Let's also just go ahead and disable the for duration because we will not need it. And then also when we exit the build mode, what I am going to do is get a preview mesh and then set static mesh to be totally empty. And then also I'm even gonna go ahead and get the preview mesh and set it to be false. So I'm gonna literally reset the variable and also gonna go and well we're not gonna leave the transform like this so now I can enable this go here and then put it on or off you can see it doesn't appear once again and we have some uh, errors because we're trying to get the world transform but we stopped doing this um, and this is because also of the dual ones it is not resetting so we have to reset this so let's just create a custom event and it'll be reset build mode and that will be there and then in here we're gonna reset the build mode okay uh, actually that will be yeah that will be here so now let me press play you can see we have this press b it's activated press b activate okay so we have all these toggles also in build mode let's make that by default is disabled very important so we won't start with the build mode so it's like this Press B, I enable it. Press B again, disable it. As you can see, we'll be able to start to choose where we want to place it in our scene. So that's it, guys. If you found this so helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel. The profiles will be available in my Patreon and YouTube members. So check it out. In the next few tutorials, we'll be continuing with this build system. Also, we need to disable the collision. Uh, and yeah, and with that said, uh, join my Discord server, follow me on socials. Now, yes, plus it. Bye bye. Thank you.